need someone's hand to lead me through the night. I need someone's arms to hold. Hello and welcome to the practice problems video on rate of change and behavior of graphs. All right, here's number one. We have uh, the table below gives the annual sales in millions of dollars of a product. What was the average rate of change of annual sales? A between 2001 and 2002, and B between 2001 and 2004. So we have two like mini problems in here. Okay, so the first thing is to look at this table and see identify what's going on. So the top row is year, the year given. Okay, so this is like time. We'll call it T. Okay, and the bottom is sales, uh, and this is given in millions of dollars. So like for 1998, they I guess they earned 2000 or sorry, 201 millions of dollars. Um, that's, a, that's how much they sold in their product, okay? So this is like our S of T, okay? So our job is uh, for part A and part B. So we're going to start with part A is to find the average rate of change, so A rock, um, on the interval between on 2001 to 2002, okay? So 2001, this is like our A, and this is like, uh, 2002 is like our B, right? That's the starting input value here and the ending input value there. So let's write our formula for a rock. So we have um, average rate of change is equal to f of b. Well, in this case, it won't be f, but it'll be s instead. So s of b minus s of a, because that's the function we're using, over b minus a. Okay. So in this sense, we have s of b is now 2002 minus s of a, which is 2001 over 2002 minus 2001. So the bottom is just going to be a 1. So we don't have to worry about that. So we just have that our average rate of change on this interval is equal to S of 2002. We're just going to look at the table for that value. So 2002 is here, and the corresponding uh, value of our function, our sales, is 249. So we have 249 minus, and S of 2001 is given by 243, right? 243, and this is all over 1. So this is going to be equal to 6. So, but our answer is not going to be 6, because we don't mean $6, right? We want to convert it back into, like, actual dollars. So we're just going to say for our answer um, that the average rate of change of annual sales was $6 million, million uh, dollars. And we can say uh, annual sales, so this means, like, per year. So an increase of $6 million uh, per year. Okay, so that's for part A. Now let's work on part B. So now we, it's the same thing. Uh, we just have a different interval now. So now we're on the interval of 2001 to 2004. So now we have a span of three years uh, we're studying. Okay, so now uh, we're just going to set this up. So average rate of change is going to be very similar, except for now we have S of 2004. That's our new B, right? This is A, this is B. So our new B is 2004. And our A stayed the same, so 2001. Okay, so then on the bottom, we actually have 2004 minus 2001 now. So now we have a 3 on the bottom, which is a little more exciting than the previous part. Okay, so now we're going to reference our table for the top values. So S of 2004 is 249. Okay, so no new number there. But anyways, 249 minus, and then 2001 is still uh, 243. That was the sales then. And then over, but this is a little different, 2004 minus 2001 is a 3. So this is equal to 6 over 3, so this equals 2. So our answer for part B would be $2 million per year. And I'll just write a dollar sign here, $2 million uh, per year. This was the average rate of change. It increased by that much, okay?